I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Jesus then rebuked the evil spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And the spirit shrieked and convulsed him violently and came out. And the boy looked so much like a corpse that many said, He's dead. Jesus took him by the hand, lifted him to his feet, and he stood up alive. Jesus gave the boy life. He gave the boy light and removed the darkness. Now you think of that story. And when you're saying, I I really want to believe, imitate that boy's father. Lord, I believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Pray. Light of the world, overcome the darkness of my sinful heart. Jesus will not break a bruised reed nor snuff out a smoldering wick. He will not destroy a weak faith. Believe the word of Jesus which said, Which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Ask God. He'll give you the light to survive in this dark world. And He'll give you the faith so that you can can face death like Sir Walter Raleigh. Sir Walter Raleigh was in the Tower of London. The night before he was about to die, he was going to be beheaded the next day, he wrote these words in the Bible, in his Bible. Even such is time that it takes in trust. Our youth, our joys are all we have and pays us but with age and dust. Who in the dark and silent grave, when we have wandered all our ways, Shuts up the story of our days. But from this earth, this grave, this dust, my God shall raise me up. I trust. Trust in the risen Lord Jesus. He's the only way out of the dark, the light of the world. Whoever follows him will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of light. He is the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in him will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in him will never die. These are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Amen.